know I complain a lot about being a werewolf, but to be honest, it's not all that bad. I mean, sometimes it feels good to help people in need. Hello. Hi. Didn't have any more Mountain Dew or Sunkist, so I got you Coke. Hmm, thanks, Tommy. What? She was really thirsty. That qualifies as helping people in need. I hope you didn't mind wolfing out to get me this. Yeah. First of all, full moon. I'm getting wolfy whether you're thirsty or not. Hmm. Secondly, might as well wolf out for something. I mean, there haven't been any bad guys in town in over two weeks. It's true, it has been pretty quiet. Yep. <clears throat> Word's getting out. Nobody messes with the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in high school, people like you for different reasons. Some like you because you're good at sports. Or you're good looking. Pass it to Tommy. Or because you got lots of money. All I can say is, I'm glad there was someone who liked me for who I was. If I don't get these chemistry grades up, I'm looking at summer school. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, look at the bright side. You can sit next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Science fair sign ups extra credit? Hey. Hey, Merton. Want to be partners with me? Partners? Yeah, what'd you have in mind? Uh, a little foosball? Square dancing? Sensual massage? No, no, no. Even better. Partners in the science fair. Hey. Come on, please. I really need the extra credit. Plus, I thought you guys love that stuff. You guys? What's that? Wait, you think I'm a nerd, don't you? No, I think hey, I'm no nerd. Tommy, Lori thinks I'm a nerd. Isn't that crazy? Since when did you care what people think about you? Since people wrongly accused me of being a nerd. Later, guys. I am a goth, OK? A goth has style. Huge difference. Note the jauntily spiked hair, the sleek wardrobe. I mean, come on. Okay, fine. I'm sorry I said anything. Hey, you want a nerd? Right there. Nerd ahoy! Come on, guys. I need it. It contains logarithms vital to my plans. Oh, yeah, boy. And my Nilla wafers. Oh, they better have Nilla wafers. Oh, no. Huh. Note the way his pants barely touch the tops of his shoes. The slightly askew bow tie. The way he tries to work the word phaser into each conversation. He's the one who got 1590 on his SATs. He's your nerd! 1590? Yeah. Excuse oh. me. Hey! Come on. Trav. What? Can she do that? I don't... I mean, in this new era, I guess a woman has, you know, just as much right to bully as a man does. Didn't know that, but uh, do we... No, I know that? what you're thinking. We don't have the briefcase, but don't worry. We still rule. Right. Well, I need to know. I don't know how to thank you. I'd give you one of my wafers, but I'm afraid they all got wrecked in the fracas. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, look, Lester, are you doing the science fair this year? I'm not spending all week in the park working on my seismological plate tectonifier for nothing. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> so, um, do you need a partner? You want to be partners with me? Yeah, I think we make a great team. You can do the written, the field work, and the presentation, and I could help out with, you know, the proofreading. <laughs> as a matter of fact, <laughs> I could use a partner. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> I'll set my phaser for fun. <laughs> you actually have a phaser? No, it's it's just my inhaler. Right. <laughs> okay. Eccentric? Sure. Marches to the beat of a different drummer? That's me. But a nerd? <laughs> I think not. 
You okay? Of course. I'm a goth. Danger's my middle name. What's up with these rocks? Hey, these markings look familiar. Uh -huh. oh. I think we're dealing with the mystical stones of Zor. Again, what's up with these rocks? The stones of Zor, as in the demon who can open a portal to the underworld? I'm gonna take some of these back to the lair and check them out. See? Nerds have labs. I have a lair. Ergo, I am not a nerd. <laughs> Please disregard my use of ergo. So, up for something a little... I can't just wolf <laughs> out for no reason. Somebody's got to be in danger. Hey, what about that old man? He's in danger. He's getting into a station wagon. Well, you could at least open the door for him. <laughs> He'd say a werewolf and have a heart attack. That's perfect. You could use your wolf speed and run him to the hospital. You know, why don't we just grab a bite at the hungry bucket, huh? Yeah, I guess. Hey, does indigestion make you wolf out? No. Heartburn? Well, Nausea? <laughs> no. Welcome to Pleasantville. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. I have a bit of a problem. I have a feeling Glory's only hanging out with me because I'm a werewolf. So we were just at the park, right? And we were like... Oh, uh, yeah. I hate to interrupt this week's episode of Wolficity, but we got serious trouble. Look, the symbol on this rock is the insignia of an ancient demon. Listen. Once every 500 years, a portal to the underworld may be unlocked. This dark time will mark the arrival of a being on a chariot of steel. This being is known as the demon. This being is known as ugly. But whatever, come on, let's go take care of business. No, no, hold on, there's more. It says here that in order to open the portal, the demon must sacrifice an innocent. Innocent? What's an innocent? Area equals pi r squared, do da, do da. Area equals pi r squared. That Tommy da, day, is an innocent. Da, day, if he were any more innocent, he'd be a kitten. What's he doing out here? Looks like he's doing some kind of science project. Funny. I'm not out here doing a science project, and yet I'm classified as a... Burton. Sorry. Look, we got to get this sacrificial science boy out of here. Good evening, fellows. Can I interest either of you in a refreshing juice box? Look, Lester, uh, I don't know how to explain this to you, but you got to get out of here now. <laughs> if you're trying to steal my science project, it won't work. There's no way I'm going to leave this. <laughs> huh? What the heck is that? Oh, just a stab in the dark, Tommy, but I'd say it's the demon. <laughs> 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 Doing? Come on, this is a new vest. Please, I don't know what this is all about, but you must unhand me. I have a project that he's tending to, and if I'm not there, then no, not the locker again! It's nice to be on the other side of a locker stuffing once in a while. Feeling we're uh, we're forgetting something? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hello? Hello, a little help here. Pity. I do get a chance to thank them. <laughs> You 
know it used to be when a guy stopped a demon, he felt pretty good about himself. But something about Lori was bugging me. I was getting the feeling she was only into me because I'm a werewolf. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, I'm supposed to be working on my science fair project, but I figure I can do it in an hour or two. Or never. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you want something to drink? No. So, uh, Tommy, you feel like... Lori, you're... listen, look, um... <laughs> Are you hanging out with me only because you want to see me wolf out? What? No, of course not. Why would you say that? Because every time we hang out, you want to see me wolf out. Well, no, not every time. I mean, only when it's really important. What, like running across town to fetch you a Coke? I was thirsty. Lori, be honest here, okay? Did you come over here tonight to really hang out with me, or did you want to get me to wolf out? Can it be both? <laughs> Maybe some other time. Well, I guess I'll just go work on my science fair project with Lester anyway. Yeah, besides, I was going to do something with Dana and I. Something important. <laughs> oh, keep our moose. You are the perfect stranger. <laughs> right. Bye. Hey, Lester, I uh, kind of thought that I could help you with... You're that. late. Excuse me? For the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Calibrating ratios, measuring topsoil. I'm so glad you could join me on this fine evening. Yeah, well, you know, I kind of felt bad about you doing all the work, so I figured I could help if you need it. Or not. I mean, that works, too. <laughs> Nonsense. There's an important function I was hoping you could fill. <laughs> oh. Very important indeed. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, cool, that demon's ball thing. Orb, Tommy, is an ancient relic, thousands of years old, passed down through generations. I wonder how much I could get for it on eBay. Oh, hey, hey, careful with that thing. I don't want it to get scratched. Oh, cool. Did you know this thing opens up? Really? The, yeah, of course. Looks like some sort of weird compass thingy. There's writing inside of it. Really? There's writing inside? Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, there's <clears throat> there's usually writing inside. It says Zanzius. Zanzius. Zanzius? Yeah. What? How could that be? Everyone knows Zanzius is a demon hunter. Well, maybe not everybody. But... Anyway, that thing was no hunter. It was pure grade A demon. You sure about that? Of course I'm sure. Ah, once every 500 years, portal unlocked. This being is known as the demon. Hunter. <clears throat> the demon hunter will ride into the night with the sole purpose of stopping the demon from committing his acts of heredity. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? Like, uh-oh, the dude we just dust busted wasn't the demon, but the demon hunter? Well, then who's the demon? Well, the hunter's sole purpose is to hunt the demon, and he was after... The nerd! Tommy, please, for the last time, I am not a... nerd. That's the last one. Tell me again what this has to do with the science project. Yeah, well, it's all about the seismic effects on displaced rocks in the event of tectonic activities. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna nod my head like anything you just said made sense to me. So, are we almost done here? Or... Actually, yes. Why don't you take a load off? <sighs> Thanks. I just have one more piece of business I have to take care of. So, what else do we have to do? The ritualistic sacrifice, of course! <laughs> Another one of those insane, power-hungry, want-to-take-over-the-world demon types. Guilty. Ha. Yeah, but wait, why do you go to high school? And what's up with the nerd disguise? Disguise? What do you... Wait a minute. You think I'm a nerd? <sighs> Look, you obviously don't need a science fair partner anymore, so if you'll just let me go, I'll leave you all alone with your... Freaky little demon rocks and junk. Sorry, but every portal opening requires the sacrifice of an innocent. 
I assume I made the right choice. Actually, that reminds me. I'm trying to score some points with my fellow demon friends, so when they come to savagely destroy the world, I'd really appreciate it if you could see that we were going out. <laughs> oh, man, I still can't get it to work. Where's an owner's manual when you need one? You should smack it with a hammer. Always works with my dad's toaster. Tommy, <clears throat> this is a demonic weapon from the 13th century, not the Red Dot Special at Home Depot. Man, I still can't believe Lester's the demon and not the sacrifice. He seems so sacrificial. Sacrifice? The demon? Mm. Lester needs a sacrifice? Oh, yeah. Sacrifices are pretty standard demonic operating procedure. Merton? Mm? Lori's with Lester. He's gonna sacrifice Lori! Come on! Time is upon us. I shall lay the keystone. <laughs> of the night. Hear my yell. Grant my plea. Open the portal to... Hello? Is all of this really necessary? I mean, mm. you're doing so well here on Earth. Great grades, yeah. a bright future. Plus, you know, the prom is coming up. Huh? You'd be willing to go to the prom with me? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you saying that because... Do you really want to go with me? Or because you know I'm about to subject you to a painful ritualistic sacrifice? <laughs> Can it be both? Wrong answer! Demons of the Underworld! I beseech thee to come forth! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah, he's opened the portal. Oh, too late. No, not necessarily. The book said that if the person who opened the portal is sucked into it, then the portal will close. Then I guess Lester's going for a little ride. Guys! She didn't look happy at the time, but Lori was about to get her wish. It was time for me to wolf out. Tommy Dawkins? Hey, I don't believe it. You're a werewolf? Look who's talking. You're a demon. I'm not just a demon. I'm the demon who successfully opened the portal to the underworld. Soon I'll be the most feared and respected entity in the entire... Hey, Lester. <laughs> nice pants. <laughs> Guys, trying to make an impression here, huh? Whoa! Nice sacrifice! Excuse me. I hate to break up your little party, but I'm nobody's sacrifice. You want to prolong the inevitable? Fine. But just keep in mind that I alone will... <laughs> <laughs> If you're looking for a more challenging fight, the wolf or the kickboxer should be free any minute now. Why don't we flip for it? Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. I mean it! One more step and she's going in! You see, that's why the studious are always most successful. I assessed your Achilles heel, and I used it to my advantage. Hence, victory is mine. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. We get it. We won. But do you have to be such a nerd? I am the soon-to-be ruler of the universe! I am not a nerd! Ah. 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 Hey, thanks, you know, for saving my life again. <laughs> Don't you mean you want to thank the werewolf? No, Tommy, I mean you. The werewolf's part of you and that's cool, but you're also, you know, brave and cute and your posture is outstanding. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Don't you get the feeling we're forgetting something, though? No? Uh, guys, a little help here.
after Lester was sent back to the underworld, things got back to normal. Martin even got the demon sucker to work again. You goth kids make me sick. Goth kids? Thank you. And as for me, I found out that it's important for people to like you for who you are. Even if that means you can't always run to the cafeteria and back in under 10 seconds. <laughs>